Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to discuss how you can read the data from the external file and use that data for the validation in the Karate feature file. If you look at this scenario, in this scenario, we have hard coded the complete response and we are doing the validation. But this is not a good approach, specifically when the response is too big. So in such cases, it is always better to store the response in some external file and read it from there and then do the validation. So first of all, let me create one more feature file for that. So let me copy this scenario from this feature file to our current feature file. And let me update the scenario title also. So first of all, I'm going to create a JSON file that will contain the response. So the JSON file which contain the response, I'm going to keep that JSON file in the top level package. So in this package, I'm going to create the JSON file which will contain the response for the validation. And let me copy this JSON response and put it inside the JSON file. So this is the file from which we are going to read the data and then do the validation. So let me remove this statements. Now in Karate framework, there is an API called read. Using that API, you can read the data from the file. So first I'm going to create a variable that is going to store the data which we get after reading the data from the file. So I will use the star character def keyword followed by the variable name and then I will use the read API and this API is coming from the Karate framework. This API takes the location of the file from which you want to read the data. Now in our case the file is located at the top level package so I will use double dot forward slash and the name of the file. double dot represent the parent directory. So in our case, this is our package and the file is present in the top level package. So that's why I use double dot and followed by the file name along with the extension. So this method is going to read the data from this JSON file and store in this variable. Now I can use the matcher for the validation. So let me create one more runner for this feature file. And let me run this runner. Okay, I forgot to start our test application. So let me start the test application. So the application is up and running. Let me rerun this runner. So our test is passing. So let me just comment out this matcher and just call the print method to print the value of this variable. And let me run the runner again. Okay, so this is the data which is coming from the file. Let me enable the matcher and also update our JSON file. And the property which I'm going to update is the job ID. So in this case, we know that our test will fail. So 
so our test is failing and it is because of this job id so let me move this line of code before the matcher and rerun the runner this is the reason why our test is failing I can do the same thing for the XML also. So from this feature file, let me copy this scenario also to our current feature file. And in the top level package, I'm going to create one more file which will hold the data in the XML format. I'm going to create a variable which will read the data from the XML file. Create the variable to And let me rerun the runner. So both of the scenario are passing and in the console you can see this is the data which is coming from the file. 